Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'm bringing you the May 2016 uh, Horror Pack unboxing. If you guys still don't know what this is, it's a subscription box where you get four horror movies in the mail. You can choose between Blu-rays or DVDs. I get the Blu-rays, and if you guys are interested in ordering, I do have like a referral link in the description, you guys can uh, use that. So let's check it out. Um, I don't remember what's in here, but I do have to be 100% honest. I did accidentally see on Instagram <laughs> what was in it, but I, I, I don't remember. I, I'm very forgetful. So we got four Blu-rays in here, let's check it out. Um, I think I have one or two of them already, so I think I'll, I'll probably give those away. Uh, so first up, we have Wolfman. Um, this includes unrated and theatrical versions, uh, Blu-ray exclusives, two alternate endings, and much more. The Wolfman with Benicio del Toro and Anthony Hopkins. Um, I did actually, I do have this one already, and I have seen it. Uh, Academy Award winners Anthony Hopkins and Benicio del Toro tear up the screen in this action-packed thriller. Lawrence Talbot is lured back to his family estate to investigate the savage murder of his brother by a bloodthirsty beast. There, Talbot must confront his childhood demons, his estranged father, his brother's grieving fiance, uh, played by Emily Blunt, and a suspicious Scotland Yard inspector. When Talbot is bitten by the creature, he becomes eternally cursed and soon discovers a fate far worse than death. Inspired by the classic universal film that launched the legacy of horror, The Wolfman brings the myth of a cursed man back to its iconic origins. Uh, it's been too long since I've seen this one, but um, I remember it being, you know, uh, okay, you know. Um, there's Mr. Smith, too, from, uh, <laughs> from the uh, Matrix trilogy. All right. Unrated Director's Cut. I have not heard of this Volumes of Blood. This looks like super, super low budget. Uh, this is how a effing anthology should be. The best anthology film of 2015. Hits all the right notes. Has all the right bits in place to entertain the horror masses. Volumes of blood. Some, some libraries make a killing. They, <laughs> they use the worst color. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like yellow on red here on the back. Uh, called the best horror anthology film of 2015 by critics. I mean, let's just think of all the 2015 horror anthology films. Yeah, I can't think of any either. <laughs> Volumes of Blood is an award-winning throwback to the fun of old school films of 1980s. Five different directors were brought together by producer PJ Starks to deliver an instant horror classic. Lee Ver Vervoort? I'm not gonna read all these names. Uh, a sociology student gathers several friends at a local library on Halloween night to help him create a new urban legend with deadly consequences. Lily is in for a late night of researching and needs something to keep their, keep her going. It isn't until she's approached by a stranger that her luck may change for worse, for the worse. A typical night of work for a librarian becomes a classic ghost story with a modern twist. Sometimes you can't keep a bad book down. What? Is that a saying? I've never heard that before. Sydney is allowed to stay after hours to study for a test. It's not until she awakens in the darkened library that she realizes the truth of what lurks among the books after midnight. She better pray she doesn't become the prey. Paige faces regret. Wait, Paige faces regrets that she didn't do anything to take back. When an ancient and arcane spell book falls into her lap, she decides to make a grave decision. Be careful what you wish for, it might just kill you. Uh, featuring nobody you've ever heard of. I, I, like, I, I don't think I've even heard any of these movies they're in. Harvest Lake, The Confession of Fred Krueger, Three Tears on Bloodstained Flesh. 
Yeah, this looks super cheesy. 96 minute runtime. I don't know. We'll have to see eventually, but. Oh, the final destination. Uh, was this four or five? I can't, can't ever remember this, which one's which. This one's the one at the racetrack. I thought there were, I think there's one after this, isn't there? I can't even remember. Um, a strange premonition causes friends to abandon their day at a speedway. Just before a crushing pileup hurdles cars into the bleachers with fiery consequences. They have cheated death, but death is only getting started. Two alternate endings, the final destination, pre-visualization and storyboards, body count, the deaths of final destination. Um, additional features, additional scenes. Okay, so it's radar, 82 minutes. It's a Final Destination movie. They're all pretty similar. Last up, uh, Digging Up the Marrow from director Adam Green and artist Alex Pardee. Kind of interesting looking. I, I know I've seen this cover before um, online or whatever, but I've never seen this movie. Uh, the scariest movie of the past two decades, UK horror scene. Uh, taps into primal fears you didn't even know existed. Uh, what if the ghastly images and abominations haunting our collective nightmare nightmares actually existed? Writer-director Adam Green, Hatchet, sets out to make a documentary exploring the tantalizing premise after being contacted by a mysterious man named William Decker. What? <laughs> Decker claims he can prove that monsters are real and insists these grotesque creatures are forgotten, hideously deformed humanoids inhabiting a vast underground metropolis. Determined to expose the truth, Green embarks on a bone-chilling odyssey and gets more than he bargains for when he dares to go digging up the marrow. So I think this is saying um, the movie is about making a documentary, but that's not how it's written, but it wouldn't make sense otherwise. <laughs> Uh, special features, extended and deleted scenes, Monsters of the Marrow, audio commentary with writer-director Adam Green, artist Alex Pardee, cinematographer Will Barat, and actor Ray Wise, and more. 88 minute runtime. Uh, this one rated R? Is there a rating? Not rated. This one's region A locked. I don't even check these. This one doesn't say. I don't see it on this one. They need to have like a standard on how they make the backs of these instead of just having random information everywhere. I don't see it on this one either. So four movies there for uh, $25. I did already have these two. So uh, this month is a little disappointing for me. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give these two away. Um, if you guys wanna, you guys wanna win these or whatever. Um, they're both R-rated. So, um, it'll be open to U.S. residents only, and you must be at least 18 years of age to enter. Just click on the first link in the description, it'll take you to a website where you can enter uh, by following me on my social media accounts. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.